Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're continuing the showcase series, but I was reading the comments and realized quite a bit of inconsistencies with this idea. Now, first things first, I am a very low poly builder. Uh, in fact, I hate Roblox terrain with a passion, and my idea behind it was, hey, if I use it, I'll get better at it. But if I'm working on a showcase to show people how good I think I am at building, uh, why would I use something I'm horrible with, like terrain? So today, I'm gonna kind of switch this to low poly terrain and have the perfect plugin to show you guys for it, and I think you guys will love the plugin as well. So, first things first, let's get on into it. I'm gonna make a part real quick, and I'm just gonna make it a little one by one, just like this, and let's make it real easy to see. So like, we'll go neon or red, for example. All right, there we go. Now with this, parts we're gonna be able to do a lot of stuff here so i've got a plugin called build v4 and it's gonna help us tremendously basically it makes triangles for you okay so triangle terrain all we got to do is set up our parts i'm just doing Control d to kind of make a bunch of parts all around all right so we'll just start with something like this today's video is mainly demonstrating the plugin not working on the entire showcase because this is probably going to take quite a bit of time to go back and go through but if we go to our plugin build v4 and we click triangle tool and add all you have to do is now click on your parts and click three of them to make a triangle so we have one triangle here we're gonna have a triangle here and you just connect things by triangles so clicking three parts and it automatically connects everything together so i'll go through and put triangles on each and everything that needs one this is a triangle and then we have another one right here perfect right here and this plugin has a lot to offer i haven't really used all of it yet like you can do everything here spawning in parts rotating and everything like that but i don't overly like using this stuff so i do click back out of the plugin and then i go back to it when i need to just make the triangles again but here's our triangles let me connect to this one as well and then we can start connecting these real far ones so click click and click 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 and click and one more time and we could even add one right here there we go now as you can see this doesn't really line up you see these it's not looking too good so if we go to flip we could click on this and now those line up and click on this and now those line up and everything is an even plane now some people might be thinking bro if if you're using a triangle tool why do we still have like a square like what's the benefit of using this plugin and guys i would love to show you the benefit i'm gonna click move and i'll just click on this guy for example drag this up and look just like that we now have a hill in our terrain now it's very nice of course we're gonna have to go back to here and flip some stuff so everything's fitting real nice and perfect just like that so we have now a hill on our terrain and if we just grab all these guys make them a green color there we go and we can go back to our <laughs> i had to sneeze we can go back to our plugin and kind of add some more of these so let's grab our move tool click on this one Control z to duplicate and I want to move these down so things don't have to stay on the same playing field. Check it out. We'll go one like right here. Control D, one right here. Control D, one kind of back over this way. And we're going to keep duplicating these just for a minute. And now we're going to go back to our triangle tool, click add and start triangulating things. So there's one. Now we just click here, here, and here. There's another one. Click here, here, and here. Perfect. And what this is doing now is adding this lip to the end of here which is going to help us quite a bit when we're trying to make like the edge of the island for example so check that out now we're going to click on flip and switch this around and this now we have everything going real smooth and then i'll just go to our selection tools and select all of these and make them into more of a sandy color so something like this and then once again for the gaps guys all you got to do is click on flip and then flip your object and there's no more gaps i think this plugin is gonna make a way 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 better island and a way better showcase especially with my building style than for example real terrain uh because i'm horrible with terrain so we're not gonna do that we're gonna do this for the showcase and guys so let me know if you like this plugin and don't forget you can legit just click on stuff boom move it however you want and then it'll affect your terrain just you know however it needs to and I think that's so, so cool. You'll be able to make massive mountains if you wanted to, massive mountain ranges, like just anything you could want to do, you could do with this plugin, guys. And it's very cool. In fact, I think it's my new favorite plugin. Yep. And, and it takes a lot to take the spot away from Archimedes, but I think this is my new favorite plugin, guys. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this, 
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.